Hey there, David Risley here with Blog Marketing Academy, and I want to talk to you quickly about why I use the Gravity Forms plugin for WordPress. Gravity Forms, basically what it does is it allows you to make forms, but it does like a lot of stuff around that. A lot of people, they tend to make the mistake of thinking, well, this is just like a paid contact form plugin, and hell no, that's not what this is. You know, there are free contact form plugins, and if all you need is a contact form, just go get one of those things. Gravity Forms can do contact forms, but it can do so much more stuff. You could do full surveys with this thing. You can have like conditional logic in this thing. I use it in my membership sites to allow members to submit feedback to me. Um, you can embed forms right inside of a post. You can embed them in your sidebar. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. This is the best form plugin on the internet for WordPress. So let me go over to my screen here and quickly show you, you know, my installation of it. So here we are over at the Gravity Forms website, and you can watch a video here where they'll show you a little bit more about what's going on with this plugin. Uh, it gives you some features of it uh, right on down the page. I'm not going to go ahead and repeat myself here. This is a really cool thing, by the way, in terms of the ability to integrate with other web apps. Uh, for example, PayPal, you can actually make purchase forms with Gravity Forms. You can have uh, email addresses entered into a Gravity Form get automatically entered into your Aweber or MailChimp account. Uh, it, this thing could do a lot of stuff. It's really, really cool. But more than just repeating what they have on their website already, let me actually show you that I am using it. Um, this is actually inside the control panel for uh, my uh, academy at blogmarketingacademy.com. And I actually use Gravity Forms for my member feedback forms. I also am getting ready to use it, believe it or not, probably for assignments where I'm actually going to have people go through a, a training module and then they're going to enter certain things and I ask them into a gravity form and it's going to send to me and I'm going to have somebody who actually manages the feedback so that I can actually deliver full service to my academy members and I'm going to be using these gravity forms as a way to basically get them to enter their feedback and enter not just feedback but actually assignments that we can go in there and make sure that they're actually putting this stuff to use and answering their questions. So this thing's got multiple uses but here's how this works. You can just basically say single line, drop down, number of different types of form fields you can throw in here. If you click one it shows up over here as an untitled. You can click edit and you can call it whatever the heck you want. Um, you can enter a description you got all these advanced fields here. Um, enable conditional logic. This is something that Gravity Forms can do that's really, really cool. So depending on their answer, you can show them another question later. This thing can do multiple page forms, etc. Now here's another thing that's really, really cool is that over in the advanced fields, you've got things like name, phone number, email, things like that. Now, if you are using a membership site on WordPress and you're using something like Wishlist Member, you can actually use Gravity Forms and it will automatically pre-fill in their name and their email address and anything attached to their user profile inside of WordPress. And if you want, you can actually make those things hidden form fields. So basically the way it works is that your paying members can just sit there and enter their message into a text area and hit send. They don't have to enter their name. They don't have to enter their email. It'll automatically know who they are, which is just makes it much more convenient for your members. You've got post fields here for uh, your post and your body and category and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. Where I've used these before is... I actually have a form that's public on my site where people can actually submit their guest post to me right there via this form. And what happens is it actually sends me a message, it enters it in as an entry, and then it actually creates a post inside of WordPress in draft form, and it sits there and waits for me to go in there and check it out. And then it just saves work for me so that I don't have to go on there and copy and paste their content over from a Word doc and all that bull crap. So that, that is really convenient. And then you've got pricing fields where you can actually create order forms and things like that with Gravity Forms. So as you can see, just by checking out the different types of fields that are available here, you've got a lot of flexibility when it comes to how you want to use Gravity Forms. This is not a contact form plugin. It does so many more things. And if you're running a membership site, if you just want contact forms, if you want to be able to put forms nice and easily into posts and pages, into a sidebar, whatever, this will do it. This will do it. It's really, really cool.